Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is volume 13 of the daily Forex update. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do also click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So I've already brought you the weekly market outlook. So if you haven't watched it yet, just look up on your screen. The link is there, click on it and get a full overview of whatever i'm expecting so far as this week is concerned so just as we all know this is going to be a new beginning of a new month all right yes so july ends as at the time of this recording that is on the 31st of july today being monday all right yes so tomorrow we zoom into a new month so we see how the market is going to unfold so far as the month of i guess is concerned all right yeah so before we go into the chat let's look at what the economic news for tomorrow has for us so tuesday i guess first we need to read the economic news calendar we have the swiss national day that is going to be a bank holiday for the swiss so just take note of that all right any chf related pair during the asian session there's going to be some little bit of a silence all right except maybe the other related currency attached to the chf is also an asian pair that's when you, that is where you see movement but aside that i think you're going to see some silence in there so take note of that we also have the interest rate decision for australia all right so currently the interest rate sits at 4.1 percent you are looking at increasing interest rates by 25 basis points so you take note of that we have the unemployment rate for austria we have the manufacturing pmi for spain we have the manufacturing pmi for france we have an employment change for the month of july for germany we have unemployment rates for the month of july for germany we have manufacturing pmi for the month of july so far as germany is concerned we have manufacturing pmi for the eurozone we have the smp global manufacturing pmi for greece we have unemployment rate for the month of june for italy we have the smp global manufacturing pmi for gbp then we have unemployment rate for the eurozone then you have an employment rate for the month of june for greece then you have smp smp global manufacturing pmi for card then we have the SMP global global manufacturing PMI for USD, ISM manufacturing PMI for USD. Then you have the job openings for USD. Then you also have the on sorry, have the employment change for the second quarter for NZD. Then we have unemployment rate for NZD. So these are the high impact news that we expect to see on the market so far as tomorrow being the first of august 2023 is concerned yeah so that is just that for the economic news calendar for tomorrow let's look at what is happening on the chart we start with the dollar index yeah so for the dollar index i made you aware that in my weekly outlook that i'm expecting to see price would push to the upside all right and today we saw price move to the upside so going to tomorrow i will expect a continuation to the upside all right my next draw on liquidity on the hard time frame is this area all right this this high right here that is my next draw on liquidity liquidity that is the previous 20 day high that is going to be my next draw on liquidity so far as the dollar index is concerned so i'm still looking for bullish prices so far as the dollar index is concerned so that is just that let's look at what is happening on AUD USD. yeah so for AUD USD, if i'm bullish on the dollar index then i should be looking for bearish prices on AUD USD. all right yes but as it stands now price is not really giving me a clarity now all right today we had price moving to the upside all right then on the other hand too, we had the dollar index moving to the other to the upside so <laughs> um I, I i see aud usd as a form of some form of liquidity grab all right so going into tomorrow look at what will happen but my focus is going to be on this low here if we see price value so i'll wait and see or i'll wait for price to take out this low before 
I begin to look for sell opportunities on ADUSD. All right. Yes. Yeah, so just take note of this low right here. All right. I want to see price take out this low. All right. And then before I look for entry opportunities or selling opportunities to take out this low as well as this low. All right. So this is going to be my next draw on liquidity. So far as ADUSD is concerned. All right. The month has ended for June for July. And we are yet to begin a new month, so we'll see what will happen, all right? Yes, yeah, so I might not get enough data for now to, to work with, all right, or except with what we have currently, all right, of which ADUSD is not really clear to me at the moment. So as it stands now, I would wait for price to work to validate this loop before I start looking forward for long term selling opportunities to take out this low and finally this low right here so that is going to be my expectation so far as AUD USD is concerned let's look at what is happening on USD card yeah so for USD card we saw the dollar index moving to the upside today all right that's on Monday and look at what happened on AUD, AUD USD card we saw a bearish move but I'm still bullish Yes, I'm still bullish on ADUSD. I'm still bullish on ADUSD. My next draw on liquidity is going to be the high of the previous 20 day. So that is going to be my next draw on liquidity. So I want to see price move to the upside, take out this high, then into this very zone right here. All right, then into this high here. So that is going to be my expectation so far as USD card is concerned. So I'll still, I'll still be looking for bullish prices i'll still be looking for bullish prices on usd card yeah so i'm still bullish so that is my expectation so far as usd card is concerned all right but let's switch to the one hour for us to see something on the one hour time frame yep so this is the one hour time frame all right yeah so this is the one hour time so currently price is below sunday's opening price all right price is below sunday's opening price so that 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 makes up for a discount zone for us all right so once price below sunday's opening price i'm really of a high conviction that price is in a what is in a discount zone we have also taken out a word a low right here all right so we took we've taken out friday's low and tasty's low all right for making up for what for a swing low right here so going in tomorrow i want to see price take out this high all right i want to see price take out this high then we see a move to the upside, all right? So in the subsequent days, this, this, this is what I want to see so far as USD card is concerned. So let's see or let's look out for what is going to happen so far as tomorrow is concerned, all right? So tomorrow is just the start of a new month. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what will happen, all right? This week too is an NFT week. So let's 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 cross our fingers and see. Basically, for the for the first week of every month, I'm 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 a bit slow on the market. All right, I'm a bit slow on the market just to see how the market is going to react. And based on that, I take it on within the subsequent week. All right. So for the first week, I just look for short term targets. I just look for short term targets. All right. Yeah, so I just, I I only hop into long term targets when we enter into the second week that is where we we see long-term targets playing out and all that all right yeah so that is going to be what are we expecting to see on the market so far as this week is concerned so i'm not really i wouldn't really go that active or i wouldn't i wouldn't really be active this week all right yes even though i might take some short-term opportunities but not as i usually do for the long term all right yeah so let's let's see what will happen so far as this week is concerned so let's look at what is happening on gbp jpy so for gbp jpy today we saw price giving us this scenario all right in my weekly outlook i made mention of something all right those of you that watched it i gave you two scenarios all right i gave you two scenarios so i if you haven't watched it just go back and then look at the scenarios I, I spoke about, all right? Yes, and one had have painted out, one scenario have painted out, which is price giving us 
this bullish move to the upside all right so going into tomorrow i'll expect to see price push a little bit down then we see a move to the upside all right yes yeah, so going into tomorrow i'll expect i'm expecting bullish scenario for gbp gpy all right let's let's switch the one out and see what is happening yes so we are likely to see price but currently price is above sunday's open price so so it makes it a little bit expensive all right it makes price a little bit expensive but i'll i'll, I'll be making use of the midnight opening prices i'll make use of the midnight opening price so that is that is going to be my plan all right so we are likely to or we can even see price come back below the sunday's opening price all right for for for, for us to get a cheaper price then we see a move to the upside all right other than that i'll make use of the sunday's opening price all right yeah so that is just that so far as gbp gpy is concerned yeah so that's all for now so far as the daily forex update is concerned if you're not part of my telegram community yet just check the description box below the link is there click on it and be part of the clairvoyant traders telegram community and you can also follow me on all social media handles all right instagram the clairvoyant trader twitter <laughs> my old twitter account has been suspended at suspended i don't know why but i'm currently on twitter as i am Andrew drew all right the id is also in the description box below just click on it or just take note of it and then follow me up to on twitter all right yes sometimes post some quotes and all that that is going to help your development all right so make sure you follow me there as well all right yeah so that is just that for the daily forex update i'll come your way again another time peace